Hi, Tim Talon, Bragwood Refactory, We're talking today about interstate cadet castings. Kind of an interesting little story about uh, the development of the interstate cadet and um, the number of castings that they used, not a lot, but some significant ones um, that uh, helped actually identify uh, the interstate cadet. Now, obviously, for the last 70 some years, many of these things have uh, become extinct. Uh, and very difficult to find, but over the years we've tried to uh, collect good patterns um, and in one situation we've actually got new old stock parts that we were able to acquire uh, for the interstate. So we've been able to replicate and have new castings made up, uh, particularly uh, in the situation of like the wheel and brake uh, setup, uh, you need the, um, the toe brake um, casting for the for the rudder pedal there. So initially we get started with this particular uh, cadet pedal. If you remember the first 121 or two airplanes had tow brakes on them and and by uh, using the tow brake they of course put the nice cadet uh, name tag right there on the pedal and this actually is a very original pedal. It was set up with the wire attach, uh, the cable attach uh, to the master brake cylinder. So off of, the, off of the rudder pedal, the brake actuation was like such, and the cable pulled off that. Now, from 122, serial number 122 on, they decided to go to tow brakes as being a more modern and more elegant uh, looking situation. So they turned the thing over. They had a little problem though, so they took the milling machine, and you can actually see on some of the original castings where they literally milled the cadet right out of there. And so the shape of that little indentation area is slightly different. This is, happens to be a rectangle with the words cadet. This happens to be more of a racetrack situation where they took the cadet right out of the, out of the castings. They probably cast up you know, hundreds of these things, had them laying around, didn't want to redo the casting, so they just milled out uh, the word cadet. So your tow brake units look like this and do not have the cadet on them. Sometimes you'll see people who've turned them upside down um, and so the cadet is upside down. Uh, that's probably not a very elegant way to accomplish that. And the newer ones that we have cast up uh, do not have the back arm on them because they're bolted uh, to the through unit uh, for the master cylinder actuation of a, of a typical tow brake. So uh, we have these available. Um, and they are um, basically a, a um, owner supplied part situation. There's some work to be done on them. You have to drill the hole through, uh, get the hole through the front uh, for the attachment. A little bit of work to do, but um, it fulfills certainly the owner supplied part. Now, another one that we've run into, and it took a long time to find, uh, an original door handle casting, which is this guy. And you'll notice that the, the actual part that bolts onto the fuselage is very thin. And the very first one that we found had been broken off and was obvious that was the weak point on the thing. So our castings uh, that we've done, we've literally tripled uh, the size of the attach bracket uh, so you won't have the failure uh, situation that you do uh, with the originals. Uh, but they still, our castings still have the original part number on them, uh, which is right, uh, right in there. And, and so, and they are a very original exact size replication of the original thing. Um, unfortunately, somewhere along the line uh, here just recently, I was able to acquire these brand new old stock um, original Interstate Cadet door handle, uh, door hinge um, castings. So I do have a few of these castings available. So if you really want uh, a new old stock part for your Interstate Cadet, I have them, uh, but they are thin, so um, be uh, aware of the fact that that, that uh, door casting um, is susceptible to breaking. So either, either way, uh, we've, we've got them. The other one that was a great mystery to me, and, I, and it took a long time to actually find an original one, uh, because they often get broken off too, is the inside door casting. And, um, but this is an original. Uh, this is up and this side is up against the door post to latch the door um, on the wooden doors which was the which was the original style cadet. So uh, these castings I finally found an original got some more castings made up and we have 
these available. Uh, we match them up to um, basically a new production. Um, these are uh, uh, Ford rumble seat style um, door handles. And we have found two different styles. The prevalent style seems to be this one, uh, but there was another style of door handle that apparently uh, had been used at some point in time. I don't know whether it's an early style or late, uh, but this combination works. You have a little modification, a little work to do. Um, we have a drawing um, for that to, to get that installation set up, but that, um, that will get you original looking door handle and inside door latch. Then the other casting is um, the stick socket casting, which um, typically these survive. They're a pretty heavy duty casting and I've, I've never found a broken one. Uh, so apparently uh, that uh, survives even uh, minor crashes and so forth. Um, they, if they are a little um, egged out with wear, uh, you can run a little steel bushing uh, down at the base of them. But I wanted to show you um, a very other, the very interesting other um, oh, historical significance about the first 20 interstate cadets. And that is that they ran the elevator cables off of the stick. So the, the uh, elevator cables, the down uh, cable, the up cable um, came right off of the stick. And you can see on the original castings uh, where this little unit was plugged into this casting um, and it even had its own uh, part number on, on this part of the casting up here, whereas the rest of the casting had its own separate uh, number, uh, which is right in there. And so um, only the first 20 airplanes that came off the line uh, where would you see this uh, particular stick socket uh, set up. So uh, uh, just a little minor um, historical note uh, in the uh, history of interstate cadets. Uh, you know, most people would never see uh, one of these things. The, the reason that they changed, of course, was because that while the elevator function worked nicely, the elevator, uh, as soon as you moved your ailerons, it was changing the, the uh, geometry of the elevator cable, uh, plus the pulleys were taking uh, probably a steeper angle uh, to accommodate the cable going back to the elevator. So they changed to the to the more typical style that we see in almost all our cadets now of this style stick uh, with the push rod and the bell crank uh, setup. So there's a little um, uh, little history lesson, a little uh, uh, narrative about some of the castings that are in your interstate cadet. And um, we, hope, we hope that you've got all your nice, original, uh, beautiful castings. But if not, uh, we can help you out.